God called me to move into a gang neighborhood Mm -hmm. and um, moved into that neighborhood and realized that he told me I'm not the one that's going to save the neighborhood. He's already there. Uh, He just needed me to be light in darkness for some of the kids that were there. And these particular kids needed me to live there, not just drop in, as you were saying. Mm -hmm. Right. So the way that I discovered what the pain points were, we're talking to those that were in the community. You figured out what the pain point is. Now you have to gather both those in the church, both those in the community and organizations together to figure out the solution for that. A lot of times what happens is the church just makes a decision and goes out and does it. Right. I remember, you know, a particular church that, came into the community, brought buses, picked Mm -hmm. up kids, took them out of the neighborhood, did a little church service, got them saved, dropped them back in the neighborhood, and then they were never seen again. The church has to have a position of, they have to be in the posture of being a learner. Yeah, It's not just their neighborhood. It's the community's neighborhood. And you can't go in with the savior complex thinking that you're going to rescue and save them. Yeah. So I would say you got you got to do a lot of talking. You got to do a lot of bu- relationship building. Yeah. And figure out what are the different avenues. People are very creative in their own communities. Mm. They've lived there for a long time and they have solutions but nobody's listening.